Hey, hey everyone, how's it going? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to some car detailing simulator. This is my little shop. Like, uh, not a whole lot here, but if you remember from my last episode in the uh, last video, we were in a nice posh shop and uh, we locked up for the night, went home, and there was a big storm and it flooded out and they closed the place on us. So I was out of a job. So I had to kind of like uh, make do with this place here. Not a whole lot going on. Um, I am liking the fans and the little banner, the little tassels. It's a nice effect. All right, so what are we doing? Well, we are at level three right now. We're at level number 42 as far as a trophy, and that was one thing we did win. We won a trophy for the nice posh shop that we had, but hey, um, that's all done now. So what else can we do? All right, let's see here. Let's check our email out. Got Sadie. Let's see what's Sadie. Every day I race for my neighbor on the way home. This time I've actually won, but the shortcut through the brushes left nasty scratches on my car. So, uh, wash the window kit. Okay, so this is a this is going to be a big big job on that one. Five twenty. This is a quick job. Uh. I think this is just a nothing more than doing the windows and a buff job and a clean. Watch the wheels. Okay. Uh, not sure exactly how these icons play into it. Um, so this one is nothing more. This is a Mayan M8. So, yeah. So if you notice these cars, these cars are exactly coming from Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. So, yeah. That's exactly the way it is. All right. So we're going to place the car there. This car is in deep, deep looking bad shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the bodywork kit out and start foaming her up. There we go. The lighting in here is not all that great. I'm going to have to definitely get some lighting upgrades in here. And I, I think it was like a level 7 or something crazy where you got a lighting upgrade. So it's going to take me a little bit to get there, that's for sure. There is going to be an ammo detailing or an ammo uh, DLC coming out, and we will look at that on the next episode definitely. Uh, what is ammo? Ammo NYC is some detailing uh, cleaners. Um, you look it up online. Just look up ammo A M M O uh, NYC, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, we're going to. No, I am not uh, uh, saying they are the best. I just know that that is going to be the DLC. And I had to look it up myself to figure out what it is. I guess uh, if you weren't from New York City, you didn't know. So there you go. Um, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, I, I use Adams. Adams polishing and stuff like that. Uh, Adams cleaners, uh, I do use those. Uh, I mean, for the most part, just um, anything that's real good like that. Uh, I think Turtle wa Turtle Wax actually makes a very good uh, car wash. So yeah, that's. I mean, there's all kinds of things out there to get. You just play with them. I think mine, my go-to right now is Meguiar's. So I like doing the Meguiar stuff. I've always had good luck with them. So my question to you all is: Do you, if you clean your car, and when you do clean your car? Do you spray the tires with the, um, I don't know, like the uh, like the black, the tire black stuff? Do you use that on your tires? Some people do, some people don't. I'm just curious. Um, I do. I like using it on and like looking at everything, making it nice and black and slick. You know what I mean? Um, I, I like it. All right, so let's see what this. Okay, so this car is not in too bad a shape, right? The windows are in bad shape, so the windows are going to have to get done, that's for sure. Get up on our tippy toes here, try to get the top here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on my water saturation on my rag. So if you're new and you haven't seen what this is all about, if you look at my rag, my rag's at 100% right now. I've got to ring it out. <laughs> How realistic can you get with that, man? That is crazy. That is crazy realistic.
And I usually go with the hood. I usually pop the hood and drain all the car, all the water off before I go wiping it down. It gets all the excess stuff off. You know what I mean? Get to all this. Uh, well, I hope today has been good to you. Uh, definitely been busy for me. I mean, look at this shop. It's nice and clean. Like I said, it's not at the nice, posh, clean shop I had, uh, or I should say where I worked. But hey, we will build it up. One day we will have a nice shop. So I don't know what the DLC, the ammo DLC is all about. I don't know if it's like the cleaning products or if the garage is going to get changed or what. I have no idea. I will be interested in seeing exactly what changes. Yeah, the windows are in bad shape. The windows are going to have to be cleaned, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Thought I was getting it all. There we go. Okay, clean the interior, wash the windows, clean side view mirrors. Side view mirrors, clean them. Okay, that's a new one. And I didn't get the front end on this, so we're gonna wipe this down real quick. There we go. Okay, window kit, uh, window kit, window kit. So, window kit is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you spray. And you wipe. To clean dirt from the mirrors, make oval movements with a cloth. Oval movements with a cloth. Okay. Okay. So, oval movements with the cloth. So, let's... Clean these windows off real good. Let's wipe off all the excess stuff that we oversprayed here. Okay, so that's telling me that's all clean. Now for the mirrors. How do I clean the mirrors? Uh... See if I can get the. Ah, oh, there we go. So we're cleaning the mirrors. Oh, okay. So this is a little new. There we go. All right. So let's get windshield all done up. Ooh, look at that interior. That interior's in bad shape, too. Wow, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be an ugly, ugly job there. Clean off all the excess. Oh, that's why. I wasn't paying attention. My rag was saturated. I couldn't pick up any more water. All right. Got some mud on there, bro. I'm going, oh, circular, this, this, okay, so the circular motion goes this way, gotcha. I was going in the opposite direction, no wonder it wasn't coming clean. Okay. Now for the back. Get 
get all the excesses off the cop of the car there. Oh my god. A whole lot of overspray. This is a whole lot of work for so little cash, in my opinion. Um, Alright, now we gotta clean the interior up. Let's put this away. Uh, interior care kit. There we go. Okay, let's open up that door and that door. Let's get to the back here. Uh, ammo. Yeah, this, jeez, this is nasty looking. Now, you know, from a car mechanic simulator standpoint, if it was that dirty, we would just change out. The, we would just change out the seat, right? <laughs> All right. Clean it all up here. I guess that white strip is meant to be there, I guess. Let's clean up the seat belt here. There we go. Yeah, it says it's clean, but I still got all this cleaner on it. Which I'm all good with that. I mean, I would be, you know, I'd be more than happy to put this back in there, but man. Okay. Back seat's done. It's amazing these these car mats have all the same stain. <laughs> Need to mix it up a little bit. Do a quick and easy job on here. Don't forget, we've got a t mat in the trunk. We have to do that as well. Even though it says clean the interior, I believe the trunk mat is considered part of the interior, so don't forget that. Looking good, looking good. Back when I was growing up, I lived on a dirt road, and... Every time I took my car out on a weekend, I would try to wash it at the house. But then, as soon as I, um, you know, as soon as I left the house, I, because I lived on a dirt road, it would just uh, that just the stuff would just kick up all over the place and would make the car nasty. So I would have to wash it a second time after I got it into my small town. I would go into the local car wash and and drop a quarter into it and rinse the car off and then spend another, you know, half hour um, cleaning it up and wiping it down. So, yeah. When I left at that town, I was like, I'm not living on a dirt road ever again. That's just That's just too much work on me. I hated it. Everything was always dusty. So, yeah. It's probably where I got my obsessive nature with my cleaning of my cars. I just think a nice looking, you know, a, a car, a, if you've got a nice looking car, why not keep it up, you know? Now, I will admit, during the winter, my truck does not get the best attention, that's for sure. I mean, I get ice and all kinds of stuff in it, but. Okay, do we have you all cleaned up pretty good? Yeah, I think so. All right. So like I said, you have to clean. Let's get back here to the trunk the mat. So there we go. Never forget the mat. And this will be the last piece of this. 
cleaning job, and then this guy can head on home. Ah, seeing some staining there. Man, it says I'm clean, but it's not really clean. Kind of jumps the gun a little bit on me. All right. I think I'm done. The M8 is ready to rock and roll. Um, okay, do I want to take a picture of it? No, we're just going to return the car. I'm good with that. Hey, I jumped up to number 35. Woohoo. Continue. Uh, let's go ahead and put our pieces back together. And what is next on our inventory here? Uh, Jeffrey. Oh, we got a Chief Train, Chief Tain Bandit. Yep. Ooh, the Luxor or about one. I think I'm going to take this one. Every day I race from my neighbor on the way home. This is the same guy. Okay, so we're just going to accept the task and just be done. All right, so this is, let's see, I want to do with this. What's this? Place car, place car. I just, okay, so place the car. All right. Let's see. No, bodywork wash kit. Yep. Nope, that's what I needed. All right. Foam you up. This thing's a massive car in Car Mechanic Simulator. This thing's just so huge. I really shouldn't make a config file for it for the other game. Make it into a, like a, a super dragster or something. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of wild. All right. That should be pretty much foamed up. There we go. Rinse. I will say, have you ever seen one of those brushless car washes? That is wild. I used to travel down towards, uh, down to southern Ohio, uh, southeast Ohio, an awful lot. Um, and they had a, uh, there's in Boardman, Ohio. Um, there's a gas station. I think it's like a Speedway or something. It has this brushless car wash. And I just happened to stand out there one time and watch this car go through it. And I'm like, how in the hell can you get a car clean that way? It just like foams everything up and it rinses everything off and then it blow dries your car. I'm like, that's not why. That's not getting your car clean. Really? But and I watched people time after time after time take car through there. Yep. I mean, yeah, I can understand not wanting the brushes to hit the side of your car, but hey, how are you going to get your car washed? How are you going to get it clean? I don't know. But, all right, now for, wow, this thing, this, this car is so huge. I want to take my time on this because it seems like I can do a better job if I go like all over the place. There we go. And to go nice and slow, and then you can get everything. That's one thing in Comic Gang Simulator I'd like to see is just a choice of interiors, being able to colorize the interior. They've got some color choices, but not a whole lot. I think black, gray, and tan is about it. Some of the DLCs, though, have like, uh, have, uh, like red in the, in the, and the seating and everything so that's always a nice nice addition and you can use those seats in other cars so that helps 
especially if you're making a mod. I am not a mod maker, but speaking of mods, I do not know if this will support mods or not. I have no idea. Um, if it uses like the same type of configs, I guess it, I mean, probably doesn't though. I'll get up on my tippy toes to get that. There we go. Yeah, that would be kind of cool if they did, right? That way you can make all kinds of cars that would come through. Because I'm not big on the way these wheels are on this, like on this big beast. It's probably why I don't take many pictures. All right. Come down to the last little bit here. Windows are definitely going to need it. Yeah, even though it says it's done, it's not really done because you have stuff all over it. Okay, so I got to clean the windows, wash the windows. I have to clean the mirrors? Yeah, I have to clean the mirrors too. Jeez. Yeah, there's some severe scratches on this thing, that's for sure. Oh! Doing the wrong thing here. Let's clean the mirror. It helps to go with the motion of the arrows. There we go. We're getting it. Yeah, if you get too fast, uh, the rag gets lost so you're gonna have to go a little slower i don't think i cleaned that very good oh gotta rinse it ring it out <laughs> no wonder I knew i thought something was wrong couldn't figure it out Keep, keep uh, forgetting to look up there. Windows a little fogged up on this bad boy, that's for sure. All right, clean the mirror. Or circle, circle the floor, wax on, wax off. All right. There's really no rhyme or reason of how much spray to put on here, so. All right, let's see here. We're gonna do the interior care kit. We have to clean the interior and fix the interior. Uh, let's clean it first. All the same stains. Come on, guys, we gotta mix it up a little bit here. Can I get the back seat?
I don't know if I can get out the back seat back there. I'll see here in a second. And then we have to repair these seats. Man, running about 15 minutes per car. Yikes. I was hoping to get some more some more detailing going on here. Okay, so let's how can I get at the back seat? Can't get in there from there. Won't let me. There we go. Ho oh, ho. That was kind of tricky. So there you go. Try to try to figure that one out. Dibs, you got to be on that. Trying to clean the back seat of the Lexor is kind of kind of tricky. So I got to remember that when I go to repair this back seat. There's probably some repair parts in here. Or some repair areas. Let's see here. I'm not really seeing anything, so that's. Probably a good thing. Back seat looks like it's in pretty good shape. Nope, got a big. Oh no, that's good. Oh, got a stain right there. See it? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> get those nooks and crannies. I mean, having a portable detailing company is actually, you know, one of those ideas that sounds like a cool idea, but man, that's, it's, it's got to be a lot of hard work. I don't think I could do it, to be honest with you. I mean, you would have to love cleaning more than just cleaning your own car. And that's just, I don't know. For me, no, that's not going to happen. Okay, we got a nice coating on there. The repairing is kind of fun because you have to, like, sand it and then paint it. What kind of crap is that? <laughs> but um all part of the process I'm all good with that some of these nooks and crannies I mean how many of you like to just like spend the afternoon cleaning your car I mean let's be honest do you like it or do you hate it do you want to hire somebody to do it for you um, hey, I'm not judging, trust me. I can see um, how that could be an issue. Uh, okay, so I gotta get there we go. Sand the floor. Clean the interior. I did clean the interior. Oh, oh, you know what I forgot? I told you. I told you, I told you, I told you, and I even forgot myself. Look at this. Did I forget it? Yeah, I forgot it. I can't move on until I clean the entire interior. And this is a huge map back here. I mean, there's enough room back here to hide a few bodies, to be quite honest with you. Back when I was growing up, if you remember, if um, I don't know if you guys know of drive-in theaters, I had a car, a 72 Impala, I could stick five people in the back of the trunk. And we'd get in, it was like $5 for a car load, right? Or a car full. And I'd have five people in the trunk. <laughs> oh, those were the days. All right. Car seat kit. Let's try this one more time, or shall we? Get squeezed in there. 
Here we go. Oh, enter. What about that? So sand this whole area. There's a couple of spots on here. Yeah, the back seat's in bad shape. The two front seats didn't look all that bad, but now the sprayer. Just kind of spray it in the area. All right, uh, next up, front seat here. Okay, it looks like we've got some other jobs to do to finish. I gotta finish it, really? I don't know what that is. Wipe car body, I thought I wiped it down. Okay, so car, the angle of this sometimes isn't all that great. Well, that first one went really quick. This one's taking a little bit of time. Be a nice job, wouldn't it? Wish it was that easy to fix an interior. My 68 Camaro would have had a lot more, a lot less uh, ruined looking interior. Okay, so I've done that. Polished body work. Why is this finish? Wipe the car, wipe car body. Um, all right. All right, so now we've got the polisher. And what we got here is the head, the light. They'll tell me all the scratches. So it's not too bad. It's all around the car, but it's not too bad, right? Move foam and dry. Move foam and dry. Ah, okay, something. Okay, something is amiss. So what I'm gonna do is put that in there. Let's get uh, the bodywork wash kit out. Let's get the rags now. Okay, seems like it's up in here somewhere. So I guess I'm not completely dry. Okay. I didn't get down low enough, I guess. And what I'm doing is using my right mouse button to find areas. If you see a little bit of red, you know you didn't get all the spots. But it tells me my car is, it did tell me my car was wiped down.
Ah, got some up there. Alright, maybe. Maybe I can do something now. Let's see. Uh, window polishing kit. Alright. Move foam and dry car. Oh my gosh. Saying to remove the foam, but I don't. What foam? All right, I see no foam on this thing. And I've dried it, so the Luxor has some serious issues, it looks like. Um, finish. All right, so this there's must be something else here. So let's do this. Um, go shopping. I want to get another upgrade here. Got that rack, got that rack, let's get that rack. Too low reputation. Okay. Because I would think I would need, and all those are locked, so I don't know what the hell. Okay, for some reason it didn't recognize. Doesn't recognize that I rinsed off all the f water. So I'm gonna look down there. I don't know why I have to rinse it off a third, a second time, but I'm rinsing it off. Not completely rinsing. Look at a little uh, circle there. It says wipe the car. I'm trying to get that to fill completely. Can't get it to I can't get it to go down all the way. Okay, let's see if what happens if I wipe the car back down. Yeah, see it's going down. It's not finishing the car, so for whatever reason, 
Um, okay, let's do let's do the foamer again. Just for giggles. Jeez, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, see, the foam's going away. Nothing like having to wash the car a couple of times. We'll see what's going to happen from this point on. But yeah, I'd say this is a a, a bug. But yeah, like uh, I mean, this is an early access. I am early access into this game, so could be be a few things uh, we run into. That's for sure. That tail light looks awful. <laughs> Did I get some water in or something? All right. See, as I'm wiping the car off, like it's working backwards on this all right so this is this is what I'm gonna do let's see if I can do this this is something's wrong with this one that's for sure let's put the kid up uh, see if I can skip out of this guy oh what's this Oh, we're gonna buy his old garage. Just give me some time. So cool. Map unlocked. You have unlocked the map. You can now move between locations. Nice. Okay, so this 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 one here. Uh, I'm gonna return the car. Uh, yeah. It's not completed, but I really don't care. To be quite honest with you. All right, so the map. Where's the map at? You are here. What's there? Exhibition room. Reputation level required to unlock four. Uh, purchased available car spaces. One, two, three, four car spaces. Exhibit your cars in exclusive share room. Build your own brand. Be the first in the ranking. Nice. Okay, so we got that. And what is this? This is a large garage repetition level required to unlock zero. Garage price four thousand dollars. Available car spaces two. So that would be his spot, right? Um, but yeah, no. I don't have enough money for that. This one. I'm trying to look at exhibit your cars. Let's see, let's go let's go to the garage and find out what we got here. Nice, so we can move between garages. I think that Lexor's got a problem. <laughs> uh, 
as we're loading up here. I'm gonna see what's in here. I wonder if I can get up to that top deck. Got stairs right there. Uh, when you reach the podium in the detailer ranking, not only will you uh, relocate finished car auction cars between the available auction fe uh, exhibition features, move the car to the selected facility and must be must have it unoccupied. Okay. Wow. Hoo hoo! Look at the Mustang. Can I go upstairs? Oh yes, I can. We got a Jeep. What the hell is wrong with that paint job on it? Look at the Charger. Sweet. All right. So we got ourselves a nice little showroom going on here. All right. Nice. It's a nice ride right there. Yeah, baby. All right, so not a whole lot to do here. Oh, can't go outside. Nice. All right, so let's get back to the map here. Um, I don't have enough to buy the new garage. It's, it's four thousand bucks. So we're going to have to. We're going to have to um, work it up, I guess. You know, we got how much do we have we really don't have that much money and I'm surprised I don't have to replenish all my gear um, so we're at level four uh, we've got 1600 bucks so we're like a long way from purchasing the new garage but that's going to be what it is right so we can get uh, we'll get uh, let's get ourselves one more we are not taking Alexar Bowen again uh, no the M8s work uh, Chief Team Brand is work. The Abori 81. No idea what that is. Um, let's go ahead and do the Abori 81. Have no idea what that is. So that's interesting. Okay, what's this this bad boy gonna need? Really doesn't look like a whole lot of anything. Wash the windows, wash the wheels, polish the back. Oh, okay, sweet. Okay, that works for me. That totally works for me, right? Clean all that stuff off. Yeah, so like, when do I, when will I have to replenish my stuff? If I have to, I don't know if I have to or not. Okay, so the thing here is, I've noticed, you can't go real fast. You just go nice and slow. You get everything done. Wipe off the car here, a little overspray. Yeah, it tells me the window's clean before I even, let's get the wipe the rest of this off. There we go. There we go, nice and slow. I used vinegar one time. My windows, uh, I had a 78 Blazer, and my windows were so bad, I used vinegar, white vinegar, um, to clean the windows with, because I had, I had read that uh, vinegar and newspaper would, you know, would not leave streaks, right? Oh my God, don't do that. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you what, um, yikes. Um, it was actually pretty awful. It smelled so bad for so long. It was just bad.
clean up the wheels here. See, even these wheels and tires, the race one, stone tech, car mechanic simulator. If you haven't checked out my videos over there, go ahead and check them out. You will see what I mean, and you'll be like, what? And car mechanic simulator was out way before car detailing simulator was. I mean, it car mechanic simulator dates back, you know, 2014, right? So... I'm sure they shared all these models. Okay, so that's done for that. Now let's, uh, nope, I don't need that. Um, polishing kit. Okay, so now the polishing kit, what I have is a light. So if you run the light over this thing, It'll show you where all the scratches are. You can barely see the red. So yeah. So what we are going to do. Start at the door. Just go back and forth. And hopefully. We capture all the smudges. Then you have to put some polish on it sometimes. There we go. When it's not getting this, when it's not smooshing out the uh, the nooks and crannies there, you know you need to put some polish on it. A little rubbing compound, as they would say. Paste is down to about 2016. That doesn't take long, does it? Man, it is not letting me polish here. All right, so let me do that. Okay, let's see here. Let's get uh, break out the light. I'm not seeing any scratches. Oh, there's some back there. Ooh, that's a whole lot of area back there. Okay, any on the top? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Okay, let's go try the front end. Aha, there we go. That's what it was. All right, we have cleaned everything up. Okay, this one I'm going to take a picture of. So we are going to, I don't know, just for giggles, right? Okay, take a picture. Okay. And Take a photo. There we go. All right. There we have it. Turn the car. <laughs> All right. Whew.
All right, so that's where we are. All right, so it just going to take a bit of time to build up enough cash to go buy the other garage and to um, just be able to get that going. So um, upgrade your shop, download the MODLC. The MODLC right there, you can use it and we'll download it and we will download that and we will see that on the next episode. So all right, so guys, Keep your cars clean, keep them between the lines, and until the next time, this is Quasar saying good night, everyone. I am out.